What is up, guys? This is Justin, aka FM Digi, and I'm here with episode number 14 of Bottom to Top with Hazef Kandukni. We're taking an Oshawani club from the bottom league in the, the bottom league and the bottom of that league, hopefully back up to top where they used to be years ago. Uh, today, we're starting season three. So, made some updates, made some uh, adjustments to the team, and uh, hopefully, they work out well. But let's get into it. Alright guys, welcome back. Uh, first off, I wanted to start the finance screen so you guys can see kind of what we're working with. We were given about 184,000 pound transfer budget. We're only used a little bit of that and we have a bit of payroll left. Um, I'm still a little hesitant going crazy with the payroll because of this number over here, but we did get uh, 900,000 uh, for season tickets and I think another 500,000 in sponsorship this season, which um, last year, you know, we had a little bit more for both of those. I'm sorry, season tickets were 1.3 million, so bonus there. Um, you'll see players sold was in there as well. We'll get into that. Um, we've had, so okay, both of these guys have release clauses. I didn't want to give them release clauses because I don't want to lose either one of them, but um, these teams are coming in with these offers on Acevedo, yeah, so they're coming in with 500,000, 525, you know, maxing out at 725. He has a release clause in here in his contract for I think seven, seven and uh, three quarters million pounds. So, you know, both of those offers came in and rather than just declining them, I was like, well, you know what? You guys can meet the release clause, he's yours. Um, I did devastate me to lose him. Um, but he is on the last year of his contract. And as you see here, my note, do we sell? I've tried to offer him a contract and he will not take what I have. I feel like I've made pretty decent offer. I think I offered 2000 a week, which if you look at our payroll, that's a big chunk of it. I'm not really willing to go up any higher than that. Uh, he wants, I think 4,000 or 3000 a week. So I'm just not going to play that. So depending on how the season goes, I might sell him uh, during the uh, winter transfer window. Or, you know, if a good enough offer comes still, I mean, we're still in summer, I might let him go there. Um, also the same with Soray Assist. We had these little low ball offers come in for, you know, 30 grand. Um, and he currently, I just, I just want to see your contract. Um, he has a release clause of 425,000. So I asked both teams, hey, you guys can have them for 425. And they're like, oh, no, sorry, my bad. So actually it wasn't both teams, it was one team twice came, came at me. Um, so there's that. Uh, transfer wise, uh, as you remember, Old Barry is gone, I'm bummed. He is uh, bidding adieu to us, so wish him all the best. But uh, I did kind of go crazy. I looked at um, when June first kicked around um, we can start signing guys on July 1st. I started looking around for guys with expiring contracts. So a lot of these guys are um, guys who had, um, they were either trialists that we brought in um, or yeah, these were all expiring contract guys. So we'll go through them pretty quick. Uh, Fiola, Fiola uh, 18 year old uh, striker. He's got potential. That's really the only reason I brought him in. Um, 110 a week, not too bad. He's already got a 9K value, so I mean, I could flip him for 9,000 right now, it looks like. Um, Bertola, another uh, goalkeeper, 18 years old. He doesn't look too bad. Uh, you're gonna see another name in here. Um, I was kind of has, you know, kind of thinking about, you know, maybe Acevedo can go with uh, Bertola, and then you're gonna see Sinturk uh, come in here in a little bit. Um, Cardon is another you know youth signing again i'm trying to fill the youth with um, potential guys we can maybe flip for a profit down the road i mean didn't cost us anything already valued at you know 16 and a quarter um uh, valtteri um another another one he's a little bit older uh, 33 years old i brought him in more just for kind of some depth we don't have a lot of depth on the left side with um some of the departures we've had um edge we let go because he just wasn't good enough 
Uh, I liked his um, concentration decisions. He seems to be pretty well rounded. I wish his leadership and determination were a little higher, but they're not at his age. He's more there just as backup, and he can also play um, center back as well. Um, yeah, he was the one that we got on a um, you know expired contract. Um, Arandia, he is one who looks to be pretty good already. He has already played in two games for us in the preseason. Uh, two and a half stars, three and a half star potential. Um, he'll be starting midfield this season. As you can see with his stars, um, 23 years old. You know, none of these guys are crazy, but I went, I, I kind of went nuts. Uh, Lizio, I kind of went nuts trying to find guys who I could bring in for no no upfront costs um, and, you know, hopefully groom them into something more. Uh, this one's good. Uh, midfielder, he's three and a half stars, five star potential, um, paying 850 a week for it, so that's okay. His fitness, 20 natural fitness, that is amazing. So, you know, he's his body's going to, it's going to take a while to uh, degrade. Um, Jaron Lejole, Lejo, Lejoy, um, you know, 25 years old, again, on another free um, expired contract. You know, he's more just backup, um, you know, kind of shorn up the team. We did lose quite a few. Uh, Sen Turk, we kind of already kind of, uh, kind of already kind of more words. Um, I was actually, he almost made me sell Acevedo. Um, getting him, I think he was someone that I stumbled in towards the end of me looking, and Acevedo had an offer come in. I thought, uh, uh, Lindelof, um, we actually paid money for him, not much, 29 years old, midfielder. Again, depth, that's it, just depth. I'm looking for there, you know, nothing crazy, but he can help us out. Boyson, uh, this, is the, this is big money spending, um, and... He he looked a lot better than it turned out. I don't know if the scouts got him wrong. I believe this is someone the scouts like, hey, this guy you might want to look at. Um, values of 75, so I might flip him because um, um, you know, Auger, Chavosi, Derek Lee, these guys have been here. Auger actually was complaining because I did turn down a move for him. Um, it was another low ball move, uh, and I didn't really want to do it. I want to say they didn't meet his... Uh, release fee. Uh, Boyce, no, that's the one we just talked about. Um, I'm going to call him available because that's the word I see every time I look at his name. Avitable, avitable, avitable. Um, 22 years old. He's got three and a half star potential. Um, another one, I liked his fitness. I liked his determination, teamwork. Um, he just looks good playing out on the wing, even though we really don't play anyone over there. I just has liked his style. Um, you will see I did change up the um, tactic a little bit. Um, Akara, another free transfer, uh, center back, depth, blah, blah, blah. And then Benz, another Benz onto the lineup. But anywhere, um, midfield up to forward. Um, we don't play this position, but he's four and a half star potential. He's already got a higher value. So, you know, trying to build guys I can sell. Uh, let's get into the released players. You know, all of these guys were let go. Um, Kolik, uh, actually, Rehnquist retired. This Garen Lejoy um, retired as well. Kolik, all these guys retired. Barang was a good one that we had. Ostarsson, um, Eovin. I mean, these these are some names you guys have seen throughout the whole series, Colonel. But you know, they were just. You know, I didn't. I, I've got to worry about finances, and I can't worry about feelings. So. Sorry guys, uh, let's see if Colonels, if any of them got a job yet, I should probably do that offline. Um, but anyhow, we are starting the season um, with Al Kent, Al, mm, Al Nidus. I should have looked at old lady plays and how she said this, Al Kenidas. Um, but we are um, neck and neck with them in terms of things. But we will go, um, I did update our lineup a little bit. I'm pushing the um, full backs up a little bit, making the wing backs an attack, dropping the wingers back to support so we can get some overlaps going on there. Uh, board wants attacking football. Um, I actually tried to fight them on that in the off season when they came to me with a new new year plan. Um, they did not drop it. In fact, I told them, uh, I took it off and they said, no, we're going to put it back in. And that was that. So I guess that's that. 
Um, so we're gonna go with Acevedo in goal. Uh, Eric, I, I should just change his name to Eric. Um, Biakapa, back line, and then Lacos, Lorenzen, Auger in kind of the defensive midfield. Um, Aranda, Lizio, midfield. Christensen, Barbier have been pushed up a little bit higher, and Ibar up front. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, also, just so you can kind of see, I'm trying to get some more movement. And, you know, board wants attacking football, and I'm going to try to deliver that. Um, we'll see. We will see. These are kind of the things we're going with. Most things are still the same. I've kind of tweaked them a little bit. Uh, I did push up that line. Um, I think, I can't remember, honestly, you know, between this, the Wakefield, and the Reign of Red Star, I've got too many things, and I can't remember what I did. But uh, this is what we're going to go with today is these guys. Uh, they're all relatively well rested. Um, but let's get into it. If you guys haven't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below and hit that notification bell next to it to be notified when I do post new videos. And as always, smash that like button. I really, really do appreciate it. Um, views in this series have been kind of dipping down a little bit. Um, so if you guys have any things you think I'm doing wrong or would like to see that I'm not doing, let me know down below. I'm all up for um, you know, making this something you guys want to see. And if you guys don't want to see the series, let me know that too. I'm, I'm cool. All right, let's go. All right, eighth minute in. Auger with a long, long throw in. It's it. Going to bring it in. Oh, just misses it. There we go. Barbier back out to Auger. There we go. Cross it in. Well done. Well done. Um, I forgot to show you the uh, preseason and how we did there, but um, you know we 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 drew a few games, we won a couple games, we lost. You know, I think it was uh, maybe two two and two, and I think we played six preseason games. Um, so it wasn't world beater, but you know they're still trying to fill it out. I you know rotated quite a bit. Right. Here we go Christensen on the wing, looking for a cross. Nobody home. Renson will collect that over to Biakapa. Lizio, there we go. Oh, I bar. Oh, come on, man. Need you. Need you to put that in. Uh, they have a corner kick. Let's clear this. <sighs> that looked ropey. That looked ropey. All right, 22nd minute. We got a corner. Oh, Eric Biancara. Biancara. Get in. I will say your name. Just crap defense. That's all that was. Give them a little praise. I didn't get to see how they reacted to that praise. So look at this. Wow, okay. 32nd minute in Auger. Long throw looking deep. No one's at the top of the box. I thought we had someone at the top of the box. Ooh, Ledger. Come on. Good. Make him sail it wide. Make him sail it wide. Um honestly uh, there was something in the last season's roundup email that came in it said we were the biggest overachievers last year um, if you remember we finished 13th out of 24 teams um, so we were the best of the second half teams but the season before we finished in seventh and I don't remember being biggest overachiever and I can't go back and look but you know I'll take it but we're still picked to finish last um, remind me to show you that by hitting the like button right now and I will show it to you at the end, passionately say, I'm happy. We got a 1-0 lead on the road against a team in our division. We brought 1,700 fans with us. That's freaking awesome. They have a throw in. Uh, dribbling around, moving around. I mean, we've got good pressure. Um, moving around, let's see. Got collected, but we... We lose it because half of our team is back there. I'm not exactly sure why. I can't even say that guy's name, nor will I ever try. There we go. Christensen's got it. Come on, Ibar, get up there. Got a <gasps> get in there, Lizzie. Oh, get it. Oh God. Oh, green screen. I knocked it over almost. Hey, this goes. This goes over the bar. All right. I'm going to do a little demand more. I might have to cancel that. Eric Biancara, Rondia, East Coast, Christensen, there we go, cross that in, cross that in. Nope, that's the opposite of what I said. I didn't say give it to the other team. Lizio, 
Barbier, Augur. You know, Augur's going to push forward a little bit. Barbier, there we go. Let's go. Let's go. How are we doing fitness-wise? We're doing good. I'm going to demand some more. Oh my gosh, hurry up. Okay, let's look to make a change. Who's not playing well? Everyone in the back line's playing well. Front line, not so much. Let's bring in Soraeus for Ibar. See what he can do with those young legs that are well wanted. I might sell him if oh they got injury. I might look at selling him if um, an offer comes in. I just you know I just want to uh, Barzuela. I need to change his name. I'm not ever going to be able to say it right. Um, I might look at selling Soraeus. I mean we've got some depth in that position, and if teams are going to come looking for him, then maybe um, we can make that happen. Did I miss that? Icos, bring in Benz for him. Crap, I totally missed that. He can play this, sort of. Okay. Um, I'm going to keep playing attacking. That's what this board wants. If we lose this game, it's on the board, not on me. But we're not losing this game. Oh, get in. Get in. Oh, that was Eric's first goal for us. I didn't think he'd scored any last year. Ah, oh, yes. Yes, that's it. That's all I can tell them. Get in. That was awesome. That was awesome. Oh. All right, six to nine days. Not the end of the world. Uh, let's see. When will we come back? Come back for this matchup in the Populare. Populare. They are in Ligue Duke. So that might be good. I mean, we've done pretty well there. But, you know, I do want this to uh, go a little slower, a little quicker. Uh, I think last season we did seven or eight episodes, I think eight episodes. So I might play these ones offline and then uh, come back for this Akamini game. But uh, let's end it there. All right, guys, thank you so much. That was episode number 14 of Bottom to Top with Zef Kandukni. Um Big win to start the season. Um, honestly, I wasn't expecting it. But I really do want to push for promotion this year. I'm not saying I want to get promoted, but I want to at least be in the running, uh, maybe even squeak into the playoffs. That's kind of my goal. Um, we'll see. But if you guys haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button right over my shoulder right there. Um, as I said before, um, ask in the comments anything you think I could be doing better with this series. Uh, like I said, views are kind of down on this one, so I don't know if it's just people are interested in. You know, it's a made-up country from the awesome chilled moose. Um, so I don't know if this is like a niche interest or not, but uh, I'm enjoying doing it. In fact, I'm recording this one three days earlier than I normally would just because I wanted to get in and play this game just to see. So um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day.